Hey YouTube, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be going over how to survive fights against sweats and tryhard players. This topic is more important now than ever, because if you've played Fortnite over the last few months, you've probably realized how skilled the player base has become. We are long past the days where you can drop 10 kills without having to build, and odds are when you see somebody, they will probably know how to build and edit well. So today, I'm going to do my best to give you all some tips to help you win fights against players that may be more mechanically skilled than you. I'll be breaking this video up into a few separate general tips, and I'll have timestamps in the description of the video that keep track of those if you want to jump between different parts of the video. Okay, without any more wait, let's talk about how to deal with tryhards in Season 8. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about applies to Fortnite in general, but it is especially important when you're going up against someone that is clearly skilled, and that is you need to know how to pick your fights. Now this tip can be broken down in many different ways, but first and foremost, you can't be taking fights against sweats if you don't have the gear to take them on. When you run into these good players, and maybe you see them from a distance, and you can clearly tell they know how to play the game, you have to realize that they probably already have good gear. They've been fighting people from the start, and would love to take a fight against someone who isn't as stacked. So what you don't want to do is run at them and initiate a fight when you don't have much to fight with. This is especially important in the early game, and I find it is one of the reasons I die the most. Because when I see these good players, I instantly think that I have to rush them and throw everything I can at them. But the reality is, you should be patient and play it smart. We already established that if you two are on equal playing field, they will more often than not come out on top. So you really want to wait for the right time to take the fight that's going to benefit you. For example, if you see them fighting off another player, position yourself to come clean up afterward. If you see them in the open, line up a shot before you initiate the fight to give yourself a little edge. And even sometimes if you see them, know that you don't have to take that fight. If someone is better than you and you know they will kill you if you take the fight, don't run your head into that brick wall by going in and attacking them anyways because that's not going to do you any good. In general, since you know these players will beat you mechanically, you have to be better than them with your positioning and smart decision making. Okay, so let's say the fight was unavoidable, and even with your good decision making, they force the fight to you, and you have to respond. Let's talk about what your game plan should be like going into fights against skilled players. Everybody has different levels of skill in each aspect of Fortnite, so first you need to figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are. From there, your game plan should revolve around playing to your strengths and avoiding your weaknesses. For example, if one of your strengths is building, and a weakness is shotgun aim, you should play for the high ground and wait for them to make a mistake. If you know your strengths is edits, but one of your weakness is building, play for the low ground and try to get close to your opponents so that way you can take advantage of that editing strength. Whatever your strengths are, you are going to have to rely on those in these fights. Trying to outcompete a good player in an area you know you aren't skilled at is just going to end in an easy kill for the other player. So try to simplify the game for yourself by focusing in on your strength and use that to gain the advantage. Continuing off that last idea, once you know your strengths and are in the process of trying to make the fight play out in your way, you're going to want to simplify the fight so that the sweat's mechanical skill isn't as much of a factor. What I mean by this is, almost all the time, what a good player wants you to do is try to build up at them and expose yourself in the process. Instead of giving them control of the fight, what I think is a really effective strategy is make them come to you. Instead of running at them and trying to break into their one by one, or trying to force your way to the high ground if they clearly have control, maybe turtle up or try to drop down from the build. You have to realize that they want you to go up to them, they want you to try to do too much and get outplayed. So instead, maybe shoot down the build or drop down and force them to come to you. If they are the one bringing the fight to you, they have a better chance at making the mistake and allowing you to get a quick shot in. A lot of the time, if you are patient, what these good players are going to do is try to outplay you with a bunch of different building strategies, but if you kind of dumb it down, you can remove their ability to do all that. One example of this that sticks out in my head is a lot of really good players will try to jump, jump around your builds and shoot you midair when they're pushing you, but what you can do is just hold your low ground, crouch, and trade shots with them whenever they jump out to try to shoot you. Because what is going to happen is your gun spread will be much more accurate because you won't be moving while you're taking your shots, and you'll actually damage them for more than they damage you. 
This is just one example of not playing into your opponent's strengths, but what you can also do to beat these kinds of players is use unpopular items to try to mess with their plans. The first thing that comes to mind when I think of that um, is using explosives to counter their builds. So maybe using dynamite or clinger to try to break down their builds um, and catch them off guard. Sometimes that'll work. You could also try to use snipers um, to shoot them while they're not expecting it before these fights take place. In general, using unpopular items is a valid strategy um, to take on these skilled players. One other quick tip about countering strong players is that they often have very fast building techniques, so they tend to build high and narrow. Instead of trying to keep up with this, you should always remember that you can drop down and break the foundations of their structure to kill them with fall damage. In general, when you are fighting sweats, you can't rely on your mechanical skill to outmatch theirs. Instead, you have to gain the edge by taking the right fights and playing to your strengths. Instead of trying to beat them at their own game, simplify the fight by maybe turtling up and making them bring the fight to you, or by destroying their builds instead of contesting the high ground. Whatever your game plan is, know that in these fights, your smart decision making is what is going to win or lose you the fight. So take it easy and play the fight out in a way where you can keep up with them. At the end of the day, if they are just that good, you might want to avoid the fight and look for another opportunity later. Alright, that is going to wrap things up for this video. Please do let me know if any of these tips helped you, or if there is something that I didn't mention which helps you take on these types of players. As always, if you did find this video helpful, please do leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you want to go above and beyond to help me out, you can enter my supporter creator code SpookLuke in the Fortnite shop. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.